Okay, bye bye. Um, oh, so that's the bug. Yeah. They're, they're uh, going to love you no matter what. <laughs> Well, they're they're oh, yeah. split, you know. Hey, yeah, there's yeah. no religious arguments uh, uh, that have to be made, but our the, our culture, not not even talking about religion, our culture was born in Israel, and that's what makes like the people, right? That's that's why Italians are. No, but the idea. I already answered that. <laughs> I already answered that. I remember what I said to you, you but say? you don't remember what I said to you. I said we, our people was formed in Sinai with Moses over 40 years with every year a national assembly, no king, no state, but a people. Am Yisrael Chai means long live the Jewish people, not the state. Hamedina Philo Yisrael, the state is not the people. Fundamental then, differentiation. Then the and what does Samuel say? I told you about Samuel too. Samuel said we don't need a king. We're not a people like a nation like other nations. So you believe that the, the Torah is historical and truth and that, that we should, anything written in there by Samuel, anyone else, or the Exodus speech that actually happened? Well, the, like any history book, it's it's got you know uh, uh, well, that, the, the 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 prejudices of the time, but it's well, it's you, true. It's you know, true. the Jewish people is true. Do you believe the Exodus happened? Yes. You believe so. You believe in the truth of the Torah, yet you're not willing to follow follow the mitzvot and do all that, but you're willing to. But I do. Out. I live still today. Ceasefire now. I'm Yisrael Chai. Yes, I agree. Okay. Ceasefire. Yeah, ceasefire. Hamidina Velo Yisrael. Nicht auf unsere Nummer. Okay. I mean, that I think, so the reconstruction, my idea is the Torah is not historically true, It's but it's truth, which means that we have made it what it needs to be for each and every generation. And, you know, so I'm not going to ever quote, you know, something from the Torah as the way I believe, what I believe about Israel or what I believe about Judaism in general. It's become what it needs to be for us. And for you to say Zionism was based on a historic, a actual need of the Jewish people at a certain time. To say it's Protestant and Christian means nothing. What is that? It's, yeah. it's not based. I don't care about. I don't need to have the Torah or Christians okay. tell okay. me what makes. Okay. Now, now you're you're addressing a, a very pertinent question. Yeah. What is necessary for the security of the Jewish people after the Holocaust? Okay, that's the question. <laughs> the Bund said it was you know international socialist revolution to destroy fascism. Yeah. Okay. Which I worked. Can buy, I can buy into that. Which worked, you know, We're because, you know, fashion. like my uncle, a partisan, you know, we defeated the Nazis, okay? And if it wasn't for us, then, and the Red Army, then the world would be fascist right now. Okay. As far as the Jewish people itself, we need to have national cultural autonomy. That's the Jewish film program. National cultural autonomy in all the homelands that we live in. Okay. And, and this is our homeland and nobody's going to kick us out of here. You mean Canada? Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. Well, no, that's... So the Jewish, the Jewish Bill program cool. is national cultural autonomy. We need to have our own elected government, our own police, our own schools, our own language. You know, autonomy, but not independence, not separation. So what, I mean, you probably already told him this. So in for the Jews no. in the land of Israel today, I mean, what, what happens to them? Oh, they have to live... I wrote a book they, about do it. Do they stay there or do they My get... book is in that library over there. Okay, do they stay there the or do they get... is, Yes, they stay there. A federation of Palestinian and Hebrew nations. So, this is not like Algeria where the French can just go back to their mother country. No. This is, you know, not simple. Like so this is a one-state solution? No, I don't believe in a one-state solution. I don't think that's... Well, what, that's what you're saying? No, I believe in a federation of peoples. Each people would have their own government. And they vote for their own government wherever they lived. Yeah, that sounds good in theory, but do you really think that would work with all the jihadist groups and like the... It's already working. The in Akka, Haifa, and Jerusalem, they're living in coexistence. Yeah, uh, and that's and that's. What great, are you like, If let's, maybe you could just like open the borders of Gaza and say, uh, like, you get your own government, live at peace with us, like, that's that. It would take time. Well, that's what Hamas is asking for. They're asking for they're a permanent ceasefire. They're not asking. No, they're not. They're okay. Not, so here's, here's where, here's where, here's where the hostages. so believe it or not, I mean, we, we differ a little bit. I believe a two-state solution is just to make the Western, Western countries feel good about themselves. I think it's not realistic. I think some sort of country where people, Jews and Muslims and Arabs live in peace, not, don't have to, it doesn't have to be the same way the Jewish state was, you know, is now, makes sense. But if you say Hamas, Hamas doesn't believe in, in anything but murder of Jews. You go, no, no, no. No, you can... You, I've, I've read their materials. 
Have what? you have you read their documentation? Yes, I've read it. Okay, so that's so where the charter of 2017. They filmed themselves parading. Okay, they don't talk about they like the protocols like they did in the first charter. So let's um, unfortunately, you know, that's where that's where you you've totally lost me, and it's been bullshit. And and you know, any reconstructionist group, any any. Okay, I'll tell you no, something because, you don't no, listen, know. You look, have to know this. Yes. Hamas published two op-eds in the New York Times and the Washington Post calling for mutual recognition of Israel. They're willing to recognize Israel if Israel recognizes Palestine. They're not going to... After October 7th, that pushed them back so much. They were here, now they're here. That didn't help them out at all. If they really wanted... So, in, in the and the, the, the problem say, is... The you have to actually look yeah, at the actions true, that they've but done. They, they no. must have felt that they had so nothing to lose. Their words can say so much, but when you actually look at what they've done, Yes, so it totally goes against what you think you I think, think it's a little hard to say. It appears to be so, yeah, I know. So it, it's a little hard to say, like, I mean, there, there are people, who, so, you know, Donald Trump, great guy, right? Everything he says is true. He writes an article in the New York Times. I should, he said that, it's true. So, you know, there's there are people who exist in the world. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump, maybe mm -hmm. leaders of Hamas who say openly that they want the murder of every Jew on this earth. No, they don't say that. They don't say that, so no. they don't say that. Oh. So, but when ne when necessary to try to convince people, they'll, they'll write a nice op-ed and make people say, think that. They'll say, we never said we so, want to kill Jews. And then on another video, they'll say... If they publish say, something like that, then they have to follow through, otherwise their credibility is shot. Right? That's the way uh, politics works. They don't care about their credibility. Everybody who has them. credibility? They, you know, the, the articles I read talk about how they have had a mass propaganda war for, at university campus Qatar, and everything else. Qatar, actually. Yeah, they fund, fund, they they fund, fund a propaganda fund war to make people they, they believe it. They fund SJP and the BDS. Let's see who this is. Maybe my son. Can't tell. I got. I had two calls before of a Russian speaker who was just harassing me. Oh, do you speak Russian? No, <laughs> just uh, Yiddish. Oh, Yiddish. Okay. Yeah. I mean, listen. And that's French. that. I think. I don't know because. I mean, among all, there, our synagogue, you know, our movement and the Reconstruction movement is. I definitely has more, to take this up. Well, as no, an issue. no, believe me. That, you, know, I had a re recent rabbinical convention, and we had uh -huh. real conversations about a lot of these issues. But there are some things no one would ever say that anything Hamas says is trustworthy. There, see, I think, and this I know, Natalie, a friend of ours who was here last she weekend. Was a, a black girl, yeah. So one of here's what I believe. You know, we protested. We had we we protested wearing red shirts against the Israeli government, against Netanyahu before all this happened. Yeah. We, we were told, I talked to the head of the Israel rally, mm -hmm. they said, you are not allowed to come because this is about pro-Israel everything, and it pissed me off like nothing else. I said, okay, well, essentially, I didn't say these words, screw you, we'll have our own protest. We got the consul general and everyone else to, we, we stood there with Israeli flags, essentially saying, we hate the, what the Israeli government is doing, Netanyahu doesn't affect anybody. Yeah. So, you know, that, that actually yeah. is productive. And you know, I hate the Israeli government. I think Netanyahu is, is evil and wrong. I think he's he's keeping this war going for, to save himself. So you know, doing that then is is productive. Yeah. People listen, yeah. and you know, we can have conversations. But I think you know, and you, I mean, I I do respect really your strength to stand here and have people cuss at you, and you know, and I mean, really, no, I mean, because but That's I think the, the only point, way to get through censorship. But the I point is, else where I can but speak. the point is that you know, it's uh, it. it I don't think uh, it's like uh, you know we're I don't know if we've said we're both ve we're ve a vegan family you know I, I've done vegan protests but I'm not really gonna I don't think going out and uh, and uh, opening up a, a veggie burger stand at the local meat packers convention is really gonna do much because it's a bad time it's a bad place so what this is doing you know as Iran is setting out to destroy Israel is there's a war in Israel right now I mean you're it's I, I with, with respect to the strength you have, you're you're weakening your cause by doing it in this moment, in my opinion, because you you know why, it's it's it well, isn't it, the time and place, and it, it you know I but we're it poses still going to question: Will there be an expanding war, or will there be a ceasefire? So well, now the issue is ceasefire. You don't want listen, hmm. our like our side, the, the pro pro Israel quote unquote side. Even though a lot of us don't like the government, hmm. we don't want a war. We would have been happier if this war never happened. Hmm. We must never start this war. Um, and we have, we want a permanent ceasefire, but we want Hamas to surrender, and we want the hostage to that. Then there will be no fighting. Hamas needs to, and even if it makes it respectful, we say, yeah, they, we know they're going to lose this, but we want them to suffer more and more and have the war keep going, or should we, uh, or should we uh, surrender under promise of legal trial? There needs to be 
outside pressure from other countries, preferably Arab countries, who have more credibility with them, to push them to, to surrender. Because that's